This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Meek Mill, I've never seen somebody's hair grow so fast. This guy had a low cut fade just a week ago. Now he has, now he has braids and cornrow, whatever your cornrows. I. I <laughs> but anyways, uh, he's going around with Robert Kraft. I, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I don't know what's going on with Meek Mill. In these, he gets passed around between Robert Kraft and the other guy that owns the 76ers back and forth they take them on little trips like no the, right here they're fighting for him like no i have him this week no i have him this week it's like they just put him on jets take him around the world i, I don't know what's going on bro i'm gonna be honest meek mill focus on dropping music bro you are a rapper it's no problem being problem friends with these guys but like bro Hang out with Rick Ross more and open up some wing stops or something. Rick Ross got Rick Ross figured out a cheat code that's amazing. Okay, <laughs> he's gonna re Rick Ross will make you richer than these guys for sure. I just he wants to share knowledge more. You know, I do like that they made him part owner of Mitchell and Ness though because that is a Philly, um, it's a Philly brand. You know, and legendary, but. Uh, Anyways, <clears throat> uh, then we got Cam oh, God. Mace and Cameron are funny, man. These guys, uh, I'm glad they're friends again. They got good humor with each other. He says, uh, so remember when uh, Cameron went to Diddy's house and he was like, I got permission from Mace. Mace and Diddy got in the comments. Mace said, God, please tell Diddy to bring the briefcase because I can't swap this out for publishing at Cameron thrown in the towel uh, Diddy said everything will be alright Mace love ya <laughs> well then <clears throat> so Cameron's here with Diddy right promoting his pink horsepower and Diddy's promoting his tequila right <clears throat> then Mace says hey Cameron I signed off on you going over there but not to have your zipper down <laughs> <laughs> yeah he is he has his zipper down in all the pictures he says camera says hey yo this guy mace leave me alone bro <laughs> pause remember when cameron and mace were going through it and uh cameron was like yo he had like he, he i went over to his room in diddy's house and it had like man toys in there it was weird <laughs> and he said no nah, that's diddy's <laughs> Uh, but I know Jim Jones is tight. He's like, these guys are best friends and they were just beefing with each other. And why aren't I on the sports show? But Cameron and Mace are good on the sports show. Here's my son and he's protesting at a game, protesting outside of the Cavs and Knicks game after the Ohio grand jury declined to indict the officers who gunned down Jalen Walker. Now that's I don't know the full story. I cannot comment on it. I, I know that they I mean it was excessive. I think they shot at him like 40 or 50 times. He fired at the police but they used excessive. They did fire back in it says he fled. He shot at the police. The police fired back. Okay I could understand excessive force and something you know they should have gotten penalized for excessive force right but you can't shoot at the police it's almost like asking to be shot right this isn't your typical um police that are just bad you know like there's plenty of situations we have with that you know <laughs> where the police are we have bad police you know but if someone shoots at the police and then they shoot back, that's different to me. It's not like where you're just getting arrested and they and they kill you. That's that's crazy. And those always need protesting. But my son, this is how he makes his money. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Like you know, I know I know he does do some good. But my thing with my son is he doesn't know who he is. And Troy Av is right about this. Because this is a guy who is just advocating for Taxstone, a killer killer tax stone freedom right 
and mad at Troy F because he took the stand and then going into the rap lane and talking about the street life. Which are you for? Justice or street life? That's my only point of this. What are you like? Do your job for the justice because he works for whatever organization he works for that they assemble and go out, which is fine. You need that, right? You always need peaceful protests. But uh, in soul, not for sale. He, he works for somebody. That's his job. Pick, pick a job. That's all I'm saying. Are you going to be in the streets and be about that street life and street morals and principles? Or are you going to be fighting for, you know, be an activist and going out and protesting? Which is fine. You know, just pick a job. Young Miami says she's not dating Diddy anymore. Things are going to change up. Diddy will probably still support her because he doesn't want to get blasted. But, uh... She launched her acting career by starring in the 2023 Netflix film You People, which featured Eddie Murphy. I didn't see that movie. I heard it was trash. I'm going to check it out, though. That's the one with Laura London in it. And uh, what's the, the, the white guy's name that's in like Wolf of Wall Street and stuff? Uh, 21 Jump Street. I, I, I was, you know what I'm talking about. Um,. She expanded throughout the years from her clothing. She has a clothing brand, her podcast, which is like, eh. I mean, I'm not going to put a title on it. We're effing each other hard. What? I'm not going to put a title on it. We are effing with each other hard. Okay. So like, I guess she just removed her feelings, but she's still like, she's Diddy. One of Diddy's. She's on Diddy's roster. Diddy's so rich, he has a roster. I mean, I guess it's just, you know, it's one way of going about life. It's fine. It's her life. She's getting stuff from it. You know, she's got a Maybach truck, got a podcast. It's all good. All right. Well, uh, anyways, appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one.